Hey there, I'm Julianne Clark, and my artist name is Artsy Julesy. Welcome to my show, 15 Minutes with Jules, where I will be interviewing the amazing artists in the Art District on Santa Fe in Denver, Colorado. These artists are passionate about their careers, and we will get a brief glimpse into their fascinating stories. I would like to thank the Denver Art Society and the DOS Show for giving me this opportunity and a special shout out to the artists that are working with me on this amazing project, collaborating together. Art is more than what you see and hear. It is a journey into the innermost depths of your soul, sparking emotions of, of beauty and freedom. It is expressed through paintings and sculptures, digital art and graphic designs, poetry and photography, pottery and jewelry. Or how about that moment when, when you feel that rush and when you go to a concert with the sights and the sounds or the thrill that you get when you go to the theater or to, to see a movie and what about those television characters that pull you into their, their characters pull you into their lives and you get lost in the moment with them? There's nothing quite like seeing the world through the lens of artists. For me personally, I'm so glad that I could take you out into the beautiful forest here, the quiet and the peacefulness of it in the beautiful Rocky Mountains. And also too, I would like to thank God for the gifts and talents that he's given me so that I could share them with you. You want to go on this great adventure with me? Let's go. Let's get started. Hello, welcome to today's show. This is the second episode of about 15 minutes with Jules and I'm so excited. Today I have a special guest, Monica Den. And uh, Monica, why don't you go on ahead and introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about um, how you started your art. Sure. So I most recently moved from Wyoming, but I was born in Hawaii and I was a military brat. So I've lived all over the country and nature has always been my refuge through all the years of being the new kid. So a lot of my art um, draws deeply from inspiration of a connection with nature and I I've been painting ever since I was probably three or four years old. Um, I love oils, best acrylic. I also paint in inks, but I also do wood burning and sculpture and experiment with all kinds of weird found surfaces and forage items. Um, <laughs> my vision <laughs> is to uh, help raise the collective vibration of humanity by inspiring people to find a similar connection with nature channeled through art. Awesome, awesome, I love it. Um, so th this is some of Monica's art behind us. Is there anything that you would like to describe about, you know, what your passion is and what, how you put these pieces together? Yeah, so um, my paintings can kind of be tracked in like different phases throughout life. So. Um, I would say the most recent phase was very much inspired by not only nature, but also um, a little bit of psychedelics and dreams. So there's a lot of vibrant colors, um, like this one, and a, a deep sense of magic in the universe. So you'll see lots of stars and sparkles and colors. Um, mushrooms are a recurring theme in a lot of my pieces. Prior to that, um, I had an ink phase where I had just discovered mindfulness meditation and as I was getting into that I used ink painting as sort of a way to find my sense of zen and the difference between that period and this most recent period is very stark they're like mostly black and white over there and much more simplistic um, and then these ones are a lot more bold and colorful and at the moment I'm kind of moving into a third phase that I'm excited to explore which sort of illustrates a clash of having lived in nature so long and now I'm in a city and there's like a <laughs> clash of uh, values there. <laughs> yeah, it's a different world. Yes. There's something similar, like this is very colorful right here. 
Yes. Just beautiful nature. I um, used to live in Oregon for a time, so it felt like my heart was calling for the rainforest. So I illustrated an anatomical heart with all of the species that I recalled from the rainforest in my time there. Nice. <laughs> well, that's really cool. Um, so, uh, what brought you to Denver? Um, kind of just necessity. I'd been living on a farm in Wyoming um, for two years, and it was amazing. It was like a 200-acre farm in the middle of nowhere. During that time, I did a lot of experimenting with foraging antlers and bones. Um, I started cleaning skulls and bones myself and using those as unusual canvases. Um, I also like to paint on antique saws, and I just like painting on weird, unexpected surfaces. Um, but when my rent doubled, I had to find somewhere else to live, and a friend offered to put my husband and I up in his basement for a reasonable price. So we just kind of ended up here, <laughs> having nowhere else to go. But as soon as I moved, I joined DOS, and I was so excited to find an artistic community to uh, inspire me further. Yeah, here at the Denver Art Society, they're very welcoming and, and helping. It's really awesome to to invite new artists into the gallery. Yes. Um, so, uh, what do you do best? Uh, what's your specialty? Is, is there anything that you, you know, the best at? <laughs> yes, I'm kind of a jack of all trades, but I do love oils most. Um, I feel like I'm able to capture the most detail with oil, and uh, I just love the way that the paint moves, though I am capable of working with a lot of other mediums. Um, I love the vibrancy of oil, the smell, Mm -hmm. all the little things about it, although it is one of the most expensive mediums, so I don't use it as often as I would like. <laughs> yeah. Be sure to join us next week for the rest of Monica's interview.